You need to dare yourself in a sense and be comfortable with being uncomfortable because you're exploring a space that is very unknown. And all you need to do is just immerse yourself in it and let that creativity just flow at some point. We are trying to answer one big question in our research, and that is how to enable a system to have great capabilities in terms of decision making and execution of the decisions, but to ensure that those decisions and their executions are safe and sound, so they are doing the right thing. It's not only to make the system smarter, but also to provide guarantees on their performance before we even deploy them into our society. So autonomous systems, they are run by algorithms, and algorithms are essentially the recipes of decision making. We need to form those decisions, not only based on the past experiences, but also what we require of the system to do. And those requirements are the ones that we formulate and try to impose on the decisions made by the system to make sure they are aligned with the requirements that we have. One example that we already have in our society is highway driving autopilot. In that situation, the car takes over and the human is responsible for monitoring the system, not knowing that when we are not in charge, we are not fully committed in monitoring the environment and we lose concentration. But as soon as the car finds itself in a situation that is unsafe, they alert the human to take over. But the human is not aware of the situation. They have only a few seconds to respond to the situation. Not being aware and expecting the human to make the right decision in that moment is just unrealistic. So that's the part I'm focusing on in my research. How to strengthen this communication, how to monitor human awareness of the situation, and when is the right handover of the control to the autonomous system or to the human. I have a diverse group because my research is very interdisciplinary. I have people from mechanical engineering, aerospace, as well as computer science in my group. And I think the interaction of those ideas from different disciplines helps with creativity in the group. When you're motivated and you hear a problem that your colleague is working on and it kind of grabs your attention, you feel like you want to be part of it. And you start a conversation, you get on the board, you explore ideas together. And that's probably the part of research that I personally enjoy. And I see that my students are doing it too. So you need to sit back, think about the big picture and think about different ideas, even wild ideas you haven't explored or nobody else has explored and have the courage to follow up on those ideas.